Okay, so then Richard, I want to get your thoughts on that because you know all of the above sounds very natural, doesn't it? In a multilateral world, in a multipolar world, I should say, pardon me, um, where globalization, et cetera, is taking place, that the U.S. would not always just be the dominant power across the world. Do you think it's actually just the U.S. having a hard time accepting that fact? Uh, thank you for having having me. Yes, to some extent, I would agree with uh, what you suggested. Uh, the U.S. strategic culture and some kind of institutional memory doesn't go, you know, centuries backward. And uh, for Americans, it seems very natural that they are the number one, that they are the hegemonic power, and uh, they believe that the stable and prosperous world is basically a result of this. Um, for especially from Chinese perspective and also the perspective which you suggested, uh, obviously if we look at it theoretically or from longer, his, longer historical perspective, uh, that's just the case in perhaps last uh, century. Um, and uh, as you said, and as my uh, other discussant also said, uh, with growing China, it is natural that uh, there is growing competition. It is natural that uh, perhaps the U.S. will not be as dominant, that there will be more Chinese presence, or if you, if you will, Chinese influence all over the world, and also that American military um, predominance will not be uh, as it used to be for, for decades previously. Mm.